Hello, China launched blockchain-based service network BSN to rule the world. This is Chapman Chen speaking. Today we are going to talk about the fact that on the 25th of April, China launched blockchain-based service network BSN, which coupled with the digital yuan, a pilot version of which was launched in mid-April, will accomplish what Huawei has so far failed to do, that is for China to infiltrate, to monitor and to control the entire world in all human activities, including technology, finance, medicine, health, insurance, entertainment, voting, social media, you name it. The only antidote is worldwide adoption of truly uncensored, decentralized blockchains and Bitcoin. BSN covers six continents. BSN is a cross-cloud, cross-portal, cross-underlying framework, global infrastructure network, jointly initiated and set up by State Information Center, China Mobile, China Union Pay and Red Date for operating and for deploying various kinds of blockchain applications. IOST is the first overseas blockchain network to be taken on board of BSN. CTO of IOST, Mr. Terry Wang, delivered a speech to the state leaders of China at the Hall of the People back in December last year. Now there are already 128 city nodes spread across the country and also 8 portals located respectively in Paris, in California, in Tokyo, in Sydney, in Johannesburg, in Singapore, in Sao Paulo, etc. It is going to be applied in all trades, for example, technology, finance, banking, voting system, land registries, social media, health, insurance, issuing of passports, land registries, tax collection, law, etc. and etc. BSN is more invasive than Huawei. Let us face it, we are headed towards a global digital economy as neither the USA nor Europe has yet established such an enormous blockchain infrastructure consortium. China will enjoy the first mover's advantage in the space. While Huawei has been rejected by the free world, like America, for security reasons, BSN is an even more powerful plan than Huawei to infiltrate and to control the whole world in terms of all domains, in practically all trades. According to Bloomberg, April the 15th, China's central bank has just launched a pilot digital yuan in four cities using blockchain, the technology behind Bitcoin. For instance, in Xiangchen, Suzhou, all employees will have to download a digital yuan wallet by May and all wages, all salaries will be paid in digital yuan from then on. Every penny spent by you will have to be scrutinized and permitted and censored by the CCP. And a spyware may be implanted in the digital yuan wallet and or ledger so that anybody, not just Chinese, but also Westerners who want to transact in digital renminbi will be affected and subject to surveillance by the CCP. Now with BSN, this will not be limited to transactions in digital renminbi only. Instead, it will be extended to all fields, all trades, all human activities all over the world. And on the 24th of October last year, Facebook's proposal to launch its own cryptocurrency, Libra, was rejected by the US Congress. 
And on the following day, that is October the 25th last year, Chairman Xi Jinping announced that China will go all in on blockchain. And on the 17th of November last year, a China man from Hubei carrying the deadly COVID-19 disease began to spread it across the globe, according to South China Morning Post. BitBoy Crypto wonders whether all these are just coincidental or whether they constitute a conspiracy on the part of China to control the free world technologically, financially, and biologically. What is blockchain? Blockchain, the technology underlying Bitcoin, is an electronic ledger distributed across and managed by peer-to-peer -peer networks. It can exist without a centralized authority or server managing it, and its data quality is maintained by database replication and computational trust. The first work on a cryptographically secured chain of blocks was described in 1991 by Stuart Harbour and W. Scott Stonnetter. The first blockchain was conceptualized by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 to serve as the public transaction ledger of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. The information stored in a normal blockchain should be immutable, but the Chinese government favors a special kind of blockchain known as EOS, wherein all transactions and governance decisions are processed and approved by only 21 main nodes, known as super nodes, instead of numerous nodes spread all over the world. Twelve of the EOS super nodes are located in China, which makes it easier for the CCP to control the blockchains. Tomorrow is now, said Eleanor Roosevelt in 1962. The decentralized, permissionless, and disinflationary Bitcoin is the only thing in the entire world that can counteract the digital renminbi, an urgent, worldwide extensive adoption of uncensored blockchain networks is the only antidote, the only solution to BSN hegemony. Thank you for watching. Disclaimer, this video is neither an advertisement nor financial advice. Please subscribe and click the bell. Thank you for watching. God bless.